everyone, today I'm going to be doing a review um, and swatches on the new Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. It's the beautiful packaging. Um, now this is a limited edition glow kit, so if you do want it, I would recommend picking it up as soon as possible. I picked mine up on the Anastasia website. I think it's out of stock um, on Sephora's website. And um, I think on in like Sephora's stores pretty low stock so if you want it I would recommend picking it up ASAP so this is my very first glow kit I've ever purchased um, I was kind of hesitant about it because I have fair skin and the colors in here kind of I feel like I can only use a couple of them but I picked it up anyways so this is the packaging it's super pretty like the Nicole Guerrero is like holographic there's sparkles all over it it looks amazing like outside in the sunshine so it comes with this little sleeve take it off and this is what the glow kit itself looks like and here are the shades now there are six shades in here um i love all of them okay so yeah six shades in here and this is what they look like and they're all very 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 interesting shades um and this kind of is going to be a review for pale fair skin girls and myself for guys like myself um who kind of are contemplating buying this and I'll give you my opinion on you know whether or not it's a good purchase for someone with skin like mine so today I am actually wearing um, forever lit and kitty cat on my cheeks right now um, I have it on the tip of my nose I have um, forever young and forever lit in my inner corner as well so I use three of them so far um, now these three, I kind of don't know if I'm going to be able to wear them, they're kind of a little bit daunting and such, but we'll see. So I'm going to start off with some swatches of them for you guys. So we're going to start off with Kitty Cat, I'm just going to run my finger through it once and then kind of swipe it on the back of my hand. So do Kitty Cat, there's not a built up swatch or anything, that one right there is Kitty Cat. Do Forever Young. So that second one right there is Forever Young. And then we'll do Daydream. Daydream is gorgeous. That's that right there. I'm thinking like for eyeshadow, like those would be wonderful. So that is the top row right there. And then we'll do the bottom row. So we'll start off with Forever Lit. So that one is Forever Lit. That's the one that I was most attracted to in this palette. Next up we have Glow Getter. And then the last one is 143. So this is the bottom row swatched. And all of these like are just so creamy and buttery and smooth. They're unlike really any other highlight I've ever touched. You just touch them and it's just like so smooth you don't feel any glitter or anything like that now a lot of people are saying that there is glitter in this um yeah you can see a little bit but whenever like you put it on your face and you blend it out there really is not very much glitter they're just so smooth and creamy and pigmented and they just give you a really nice look now if you want them to be you know be even more intense you can you know spray it with like some setting spray or something like that fix plus whatever you want to use to kind of amp up the blindingness of them I personally am fine with them just the way that they are um, if I'm gonna use them on my inner corner though I do like a bright inner corner so I will spray my brush um, but just for my face I'm fine with them the way that they are um, the brush I use to apply them with is the one I always use for my highlighter it's the Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush this is one of my favorites um, and I really like it I don't think you know it's very glittery or anything like that I just think it's pretty um, and I love a nice and intense highlight, so I really like this. Now, for my skin tone, I can use, like, Forever Lit to kind of lighten up, like, a shade like Forever Young to kind of make it more suitable for my skin tone. Um, via the other three shades, though, I will not be able to use them. So Forever, I mean, not Forever Young, Glow Getter, 143, and Daydream, I won't be able to use them on my face. Um... But as eyeshadows, I think that they'll all be really, really, really pretty. 
um kind of i think for prom season as well like for these on your lid they'll be super just like glittery and pretty Ugh, i'm so excited um so it is 40 dollars for six highlighters which i think is a really good deal um for six highlighters the normal four pan glow kits are 40 dollars as well so it's like 10 dollars a highlighter um so this one is a little less for each highlighter now the pans are smaller but i feel like they're still really nice sizes um and yeah this is a vegan and cruelty free little palette as well and i think that this is just a great all-around palette it's suitable you know for fair skin tones medium deep as well i really like that she you know incorporated shades that everyone can use and shades that are not really like out on the market like this pink kitty cat shade this really pretty like orange shade daydream i just i really 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 like that she anastasia and nicole that they you know came up with this palette that's pretty innovative and not like anything else out on the market i know highlighting palettes just are coming out like crazy um but i think that you know if you've been wanting to buy one you've been wanting to try anastasia out that this would be a great palette this is my first anastasia highlight palette and i do not regret it at all i think this is gorgeous i think i'm going to be able to get a lot of use out of it um these three as highlighters these other three as eyeshadows um and yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this little video this little review um and i'll see you guys next time